Yo guys, it's Them Might Be Bricks, and check this out. We're doing another Lego video, and this one's really special because we got a lot of space shuttles. And we also got this one, which isn't a Lego set, but we'll go into that later. So recently I finished building this Discovery space shuttle, which is the newest one that dropped this year. It's an incredibly good set, very well designed, and I love space shuttles, so I was happy that Lego was making like a UCS type one. And this one's got a lot of good parts in it, and it looks really good, especially compared to some of the other previous ones. And I just thought, you know, since I got it built, I should do a video of all of them. And Brigzar helped me get all the space shuttles out. And we got all of them from the biggest to one of the smallest ones right here. So let's just start with this one. This space shuttle went to one of the International Space Station sets around the same time that this one came out. And then we got one of the monthly model builds. This one was from a store opening day build that you could do. And then these two are older. You see this one's got some yellowing on it, but we've had these for a while. And this one, this was awesome. It's the Bats, the Bat Shuttle from the Lego Batman movie and the sets. And I, I really like that one just because it's funny. And I really like this one too. This is a uh, creator set that came out uh, a year or two ago. And it's it's really, it's a nice little small build. It's not anything too crazy, but that's why I like it. This is from Lego City. Uh, this era of space was, I mean, I'm not really a fan of it, but it's a space shuttle, so of course I loved it. But I feel like they could have done a lot better job, and I'm hoping that they will later in the future, but we'll see how that goes. And then these two are really good. These are also creator sets, and these are some of the most popular Lego space shuttle sets, especially this one. A lot of people love this one, and I love this one too. This is the Expedition. And then they had the adventure and we had the adventure for a while. And then I built this one uh, a couple of years ago, but we had this one on display for a long time. And this one we have on display up there that you'll see in almost all of our videos. But I love this one a lot. The doors are really cool. They got the little arm in there for the satellite and it's a really great space shuttle. Okay. So according to Brigzar, this one was not a monthly model build. There was one though, but Someone got confused and took it home with them, and so we didn't get it. This one's from a book. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. There we go. But yeah, back to these. Yeah, I wish we had got the one that we was... We did it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that also came... I built a launch pad for it. I remember that. I don't remember, but yeah. This is a, this is a old set. This is like the Discovery Kids. Like, they did the... Uh, it was like a whole thing with the, t the, the TV channel. And this was this one's pretty good. It's got a lot of good play features. The whole blocky like bulkiness of it is it's I it's not anything crazy, but I mainly like it because of how big it is, and it's it's really cool. It's the Discovery, which is the actual shuttle, which leads straight into this one, which I already talked about. It's it's phenomenal. The the the, the use of tiles and it being smooth and using dark bluish gray right there, just like the actual one, is I love it. And it's got a lot of play features too, like. If you move one of the back boosters, you can wiggle the uh, the steering wings, and that's awesome. And it's got a really huge uh, bay area for the uh, Hubble. I love it. It's a good it's a good set. I know I've seen I haven't watched any videos from other people, but I keep seeing thumbnails of people saying, "Oh, it's a great set," but there's one problem. I don't know what it is because I I, lo I love everything about it. We have the biggest one, which is the Technic space shuttle. And this one's really cool. You know, me and Briggs are, we love this type of stuff. There's also the Technic T-Rex that reminds me of this era of Technic stuff. And this one uses fiber optics on the back. You can see right here in the thrusters, there's some fiber optic cables and they light up too, but we haven't messed with this in a long time. And the, the control arm is remote control too. And it's even got the little uh, landing gear too, which is awesome. It's a really good set. This one's, this one's very neat if you're into the whole Technic thing, but I think overall, I'd have to say my favorite is the new Discovery set, the Space Shuttle, just because it's it looks really good, and the Expedition. The Expedition is phenomenal. So this one came with a launch pad, and one of these older ones did. I mean, Bergsar were just talking about it. That's why we love the older Space Shuttles. I mean, look, they're small, of course, but that's what that's how Lego was back then. They didn't have all the crazy pieces that we have now, but they even they gave them a launch pad, which. Lego hasn't done in a while for a space shuttle. And that's why we like it, because it had all the play features. And honestly, I just realized how cool these wheels are. Look, they don't make those wheels anymore. So this space shuttle right here has never been talked about before on my channel yet. 
I've been needing to do a video since I built it, and it's made several appearances on my dad's channel. But it's the A Team Space Shuttle, which is uh, themed to the A Team van, which we you see you guys see this thing like everywhere. But yeah, this this space shuttle is awesome. I, I built this. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to sound like I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but I think it looks awesome. I'm just playing. But uh, yeah, so I had started on making my own little spaceship uh, here on the back, and then I was like, you know what? We've been needing to make some more A Team stuff. One of our goals is to make an A Team train similar to the Tyco one. But I was like. I should go ahead and make an A-Team space shuttle, which I did. The front right here of the, the the nose, which is like the cone shape, is actually based off of the Expedition right here. I used the same technique. I just made it a little bit longer, and I added windshield wipers because you need those when you're in space. <laughs> and then, of course, I have the big red spoiler at the back, which you know I had to do because it's signature A-Team. And then I got the the thruster in the back, which is it's pretty neat how I did that. I don't really like it, but... I thought it was cool. I just put it on a on a on a on a plate that's at an angle, and it just fits right in there when it wants to. I also got some hoses that come out right here that go into the wings, and it's pretty cool. And oh my goodness! Speak of the A team, we got the A team tipper truck. Briggsar just made this. Can you believe it? What a day! Briggsar, he makes the best mocks. He made this is completely original design. 18 tipper truck mainly wanted to make this video to talk about the space shuttles they are probably my favorite one of my favorite things that lego's ever made and we love collecting them because the space shuttle in real life is awesome and lego's awesome and this set is so good i can't get over it but yeah i think this is a little cool thing to show you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you got any questions about this let me know because i'll be happy to answer anything thanks for watching guys and be sure to Check out some other videos coming out in the future.